How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with some more Dragon Ball Fighters news and information. And this one is actually a follow up to the GT Kid Goku is the next character. And this is going to be the scan of the character. Yes, we finally have that visual information we were looking for. It's not the highest quality scan, but it still is good enough to get all of the information across more than well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it here. Yes, it is Kid Goku from GT. I saw a lot of people maybe thinking it was adult, uh, but it is not. It is Kid Goku with the power pull on his back. That is super exciting to see that it is always on his character. That's something I was really hoping for, and I'm glad they went with that decision. And of course, I'm also glad that it's not only an aesthetic thing. Down here, you can see that Kid Goku does make use of the power pull in some of his normals. Uh, that gives him a huge range to attack from and might just make up for the fact that he is a small character. Obviously, if you're a Krillin player like me or a Teen Gohan player, you know that sometimes that size, while it can be a benefit, you can't get fuzzied. Uh, you can miss a lot of normals. You can't really punish stuff. If you're a 17 player, I mean, I know there's none of you listening because there are none. But hypothetically, if you were, then a power pole could really be of use to you. I, I'm just kidding, of course. I, I I love 17. Moving on, though, right below the power pole information, you can also see that he takes advantage of the reverse Kamehameha, blasting himself into his opponent with his head. Obviously, the move itself is very cool. It kind of depends on how fast it's going to be. But if it's fast enough, the practical ramifications of being able to say, I don't really want to play full screen right now and just go charging into your opponent has been a tool that's very strong in Dragon Ball Fighters, you'll notice that it's something that Bardock has, maybe some of the Vegeta characters have a move like that as well. It's just something that gets you in from almost a screen away, and then you're free to call an assist, or throw on a vanish on top of that. Other than that, we don't have too much information here. Here's where the scan's at its worst, over here on the Super Kamehameha. You can almost make out that he's going Super Saiyan 3, so this is telling us that if he's down to two teammates or less, he does power up when he performs his level 1 Super Kamehameha, and the result of that power up seems to just be more damage and a bigger beam. And then down here, here we have his best looking move in my opinion, the Super Ultra Spirit Bomb or whatever it's called. It's just Bigger Spirit Bomb Part 2. Whether or not this move will be better than Base Goku Spirit Bomb isn't entirely known if, it, if it'll be faster or not, etc. But it doesn't really matter as much for GT Kid Goku because at the bottom of the scan it says something along the lines of, and he still has an ace up his sleeve, a hidden level 3 meteor. So they are they are still hiding the level 3. That is something that we are probably going to have to wait until at gameplay or maybe it's something that they're going to hold close to the chest until the character releases. I'm not giving up hope that it is that cool transformation though. I still think it's entirely possible. But yeah guys, that's pretty much everything on Kid Goku. This is the last time we're going to be talking about him until he gets some gameplay out or if they just choose to release him. Either way though, hopefully you can stick around because we're going to be doing a full week of this guy in rank, uh, looking at some combos of his and just having a blast. I know not everybody is excited for another Goku, but to be honest bro, the power pole just changes things for me. And, and also he's got the blue gi, I gotta give it up. I'm always rocking the original color but i'm gonna let you guys go let me know down below in the comments how you're feeling while you're down there hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on these things if you want some videos right now of me actually playing this game there should be some up on your screen but until the next time guys i'm dr doya and i will see you in the next video